was had it was had in my people. So you see I'm in the lab. Got the CDs and stuff in the background, so you know what it is. Another music review. And yeah, I'm giving this one to you right here. Y'all thank me. No, this is out of my character, but here is 6ix9ine Dummy Boy. So it leaked online. So I was like, I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check it out to give y'all a review. And he's a pretty entertaining fellow. I watch his Breakfast Club interviews. I'll be honest, I have never listened to his music. All I have heard is Fifi. I heard Fifi before. I have never heard none of his music before. So this is my first impressions. In his 13 songs, 35 minutes. So I was like, 35 minutes, I can sit through that and I can I can bear that. So track one, it starts off with Stupid, featuring Bobby Smurda. In my first thoughts, listen, when it came on, I'm like, I'm expecting to be like, this bullshit. Man, the beat was hard. It was, it was all right. It was all right, man. Bobby Smurda is on there, but... He raps like a little bit through the phone. Like he's in jail. They got like a little clip of him like doing a little freestyle or whatever. And they just add that on the song. So it's not like a feature feature. But it's good than putting Bobby out there. But Bob, Bobby in jail and looking like 6 9 is about to be joining him. Not to shit on the brother or nothing. Number two. Fifi featuring Nicki Minaj. I've heard that song already. So they don't have too much to say about it. It did numbers. It was kind of a hit. Nikki, I like Nikki part on there. Number three, TikTok featuring Lil Baby. Came front. I actually like the beat. I like the beat. The beat, the beat is hard. The beat is hard on them. Number four, Kika featuring Tory Lanez. Oh, Tory Lanez did his thing on here. It was a, it was a great hook. Like I think he's on it. Uh, he's on the Diplomats, and it was terrible. I guess that's the difference between, I guess Diplomats, they probably had like a little setup they did, like a little cheap engineer or whatever. Like 6 9 they have the, you got like the label behind them and stuff. And so with them mixing Tory Lanez or whatever, and I guess Tory knowing it's going to probably reach more ears, Tory did his thing on here. Like 6 9 he hollering his ass off on here. Like the beat is kind of melodic and he just, he hollering, he kind of messes it up. But but Tory part is good, so it's uh it's it's so so. Number five, Mama featuring Nicki Minaj and Kanye West. Nicki did the best on here. Kanye part, huh? I'm not too hype about Kanye anymore. You everybody knows like he a bunch of bullshit. And six nine part of it ain't too special. But Nicki Minaj, she did a thing on there. She did a thing. Uh, number six, Walker featuring a Boogie with the hoodie. A hey, Boogie with the Hoodie sound good on here. He sound good. Uh, 6 9 he holler, man, he hollering so loud on here. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure his shows are turned up. Like, but how can you perform like that? How can you perform if you got like four shows that week or three shows that week or something? How can you pull it off? Now he's hollering. I'm like, I don't know how he can do it though. I don't know. And that and that is a negative as far as the hollering. I don't like the hollering. Um which track I'm on? Number seven, BB featuring Annuel Annuel AA. And the melody on here is good. Like when he does his melodic thing, like we my Fifi and I'm na 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 na. Like, yeah, it's I'm retarded just now, but like his melodic stuff sounds all right, but his rapping whenever ah, ah, his flow isn't isn't bad, but the hollering is just terrible. But this right here is one of my lot of joints, but it's Spanish, so I don't know what he's saying. It sounds good to the ear, but it's Spanish. I don't understand it. Number eight, Mala featuring Anuel AA also, and it's another Spanish joint, and it's the same vibe, everything. I. I I can't say too much about it. Like, it sounds all right, but I don't know Spanish. Number nine, FIFA featuring Kanye West, whack. <laughs> Number 10, Conga featuring Gunna. Came front. This one kind of hard. This, this one kind of hard. Kind of hard. So I was I was on here like, man, this bitch going to be whack. And then, like, joint, pretty good, pretty good. All right, all right, decent. 
Like he, he had a few joints, man, but towards the end it just done kind of going down here. Uh, so so the Congo featuring Gunner joint, I, I like that one. Number eleven, Toddy featuring DJ Spin King, whack, whack. Don't like that one. Don't like the beat. Nothing about it. Number twelve, Wando Wan, or whatever. This is a Scott Storch beat. The beat is nice, but what he does on it, like, ah, the hollering, he kills it. He kills it. It's whack, cause he he tears it up with the with the hollering. Number thirteen, Dummy featuring Trife Drew. Like this is they on their melodic shit. The beat, the beat is dope. Like his his melodic type flow on here, it's pretty good. So overall, man, I'm expecting to give it to get an album like a two or something. And at the beginning of the album, I'm listening. I'm like, boy, it might make it up to a seven. It might make it up to a seven. But then it start kind of going down here. So it's like, I, I, I don't want to say five. It's better than a five. But I don't want to. I give it a six. I give it a six. It's better than I thought. It's more good than bad. Like I can see the young kids or something like like you in your in your whip. Especially if you in the gym or something. Like you you in the gym. Like I could I can hear that, that that hollering and shit could push you and whatever. So I can I can see it has its moments. I can see in the club, certain club, not down here. I'm in Louisiana. That shit ain't rocking. But I could see maybe if you're in Brooklyn or you're in Miami or something, then I'm out of my element. I've never been in those places. But I could assume from just watching TV and movies and stuff, I could assume when a more diverse crowd and stuff, whenever that, that shit start, I <laughs> like the crowd can kind of bump a little bit more of that. Like if that plays in the boot, it's. I ain't been in the clubs in a while, so I, maybe they jamming that shit. Maybe the young kids jamming that shit. I would hope not. I don't think they bumping in the boot. I don't think that shit going to get no play in the boot. But overall, give it a 6 out of 10, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Going to be the greatest of the most hated. Not a big 6 9 fan, but he, he was better than I thought it would be. I hope the brother, not brother, and then he says nigga a lot on the album. I don't like that at all. But I hope he... Uh, he beats his case. I had very much doubt it. But if he does do a little time, I hope he doesn't do too much time, man. I hate to see anybody go down like that. Even though he does a lot of, he did have brought a lot of shit on himself. But still don't want to see nobody go down like that. So I don't want to be a crab brother. I hope he beats it, man, or whatever. So, highlights, boy, like, comment, subscribe. Gonna be the greatest of the most hated. Peace out.